Hi, McManus community. I am Principal Perkins, and it is truly my pleasure to kick off our back to school night. This is my third year here at McManus, and I must say, it does feel like my first for many of our students. We are now back at a time where we are definitely showing our resilience through being safe and expecting to just learn in an environment where we have our teachers, our support staff, and everyone in our building, which you will see in the next few minutes here to work together to make this 2021 school year the best year ever. In this video, you will see all of our teachers and support staff so you can put a face to the names. I am here to be a support base for you and to remind you of a few things. First and foremost, please remain safe. And if your child does become sick, please keep them home and call our school. Secondly, we communicate everything through digital media. We need to make sure that your phone numbers and your email addresses are up to date. That's how you're watching this video now. So please contact us with any new updates and make sure your email is set to receive our messages because we sure do send a lot to communicate with you. And finally, it is extremely important that if you have any questions or concerns, don't ever think you're that helicopter parent. Just ask us, call us, email us. We are here, here to build a partnership. Thank you, have a wonderful evening, and welcome to McManus, come on in. Hello, McManus School community. I just want to say that I'm Mr. Bandinelli, Vice Principal of McManus Middle School. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here working with your children. If for any reason you need to contact me, please call the McManus main number, and my extension is 8307. Once again, thank you. Hi everyone, Nurse Dee Martinez here. Hope everyone has had a fabulous start to the school year. Just a few reminders from the nursing office. If your children are sick, please keep them home until they're feeling better. If your children are sent home, make sure they do not come back to school unless they are symptom free. If you have any medical updates on your students, please send the information into the office so we can update their medical records. If there's ever any questions, you can always reach out to me via phone or email. I hope everyone has a fabulous year at McManus this year, and I hope to see them all very soon. Have a great day. Hi everybody, we are the school counselors. My name is Samantha Costi, and I have your student if the last name is from A to K. Hi, my name is Ricardo Ciprian. I have um, your students if their last name begins with L through Z. Um, también hablo español. Si te sientes más cómodo en español, hablo español. Um, por favor, llámanos si necesitas ayuda. And we are here for the your student for any of their academic, their personal, their social um, things that might account, encounter throughout their time here at middle school. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us either via email or phone. Si necesita uh, alguna ayuda y necesita hablar con nosotros, puedes mandar correo electrónico o lo puede llamar por teléfono a nosotros y tratamos de ayudarnos lo mejor que podemos. We look forward to working with your child and hope to hear from you soon. Hello parents, we're the social workers from the counseling department at McManus. Our role here is to help support your kids if they're having any emotional or interpersonal struggles when they're here at school. And my name is Mary Petty. I focus largely on special ed students. Hi, my name is Victoria Miller. I'm one of the school-based social workers. I am the anti-bullying specialist as well as the 504 coordinator. If you have any concerns about your child being targeted or harassed, uh, please reach out and I would be more than happy to assist. 
Hello, my name is Mr. Finley. I am the newest addition to the family here, and my role will be working between both middle schools. So I'll be working between Seoul and McManus, and my primary goal is to help focus on mental health and to support your children holistically. science teacher for team 6-1. In science this year, we will be working on three different units. The weather and water module focuses on Earth's atmosphere, weather, and water. Students learn about the relationship of physics and chemistry in weather. They use knowledge, data, and evidence to construct explanations for the movement and changes in the air and water of our planet that result in its weather. The WAVES module allows students to manipulate springs and lasers to determine properties that eventually will be used to explain how their cell phones work. In the Diversity of Life module, students learn about single-celled and multicellular organisms that exist in a wide range of habitats. The module emphasizes the use of knowledge and evidence to construct explanations for the functions of living organisms. If you have any questions or need any help, please feel free to email me and I would be happy to answer your questions. Hi, my name is Mrs. Sean Felder and I am the sixth grade math, math teacher for Team 6 for sixth grade regular math, um, students will continue with the Go Math program, and for sixth grade math uh, honors, students will transition to the program in Visions. Um, the first four chapters are a review, a review of concepts that are covered in fifth grade, and the other chapters will cover new materials such as percents, geometry, and statistics. Um, students, student work will be submitted uh, on Canvas, Easy Bridge, or Think Central. They will begin assignments in class and will be completed for homework. Progress reports will be sent weekly to parents and students via email so that students are able to self-monitor and that you also um, get to see the report. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me Hello, my name is Mr. Moresco. I am your child's history teacher for 6-1. Uh, this year, your child will learn about civics and world geography. Your child will understand how the, the government operates, civil rights, the Constitution, and how, and how to be a model citizen. In geography, your, your child will learn about the different countries and their cultures. Um, homework is given only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or call the school. Thank you. Hello, this is Carol Ederer. I am your language arts teacher on Team 6-1. In language arts, as always, we will be reading fiction and nonfiction pieces and learning to expand our skills in written and spoken responses to literature. We will use our textbook called Into Literature as well as novels and articles. All students are expected to participate and be prepared with reading and writing supplies as well as having charged iPad in school each day. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me through email. Thank you for sharing your child with us. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Ventura. I am the social studies teacher at McManus Middle School, and I'm here on behalf of Team 6-2 to welcome you all to a brand new and exciting 2021-2022 school year here at McManus Middle School. Um, on behalf of Mr. Davino, science teacher, and Mrs. Lubinello, language arts, and Mrs. Burson, math teacher, I'm here to just briefly introduce you to our classes and to just give you an overview of some general guidelines and expectations. Um, one of the things that I want to start by saying is that as sixth grade teachers, we realize that this is a huge adjustment for new students coming into a new building. Um, and we're, we're understanding and we're here to help. That is our main objective, is to help students with a smooth transition into middle school. Um, anything that you miss here, please know that you will be receiving a copy of our newsletter, which we're going to send out every two weeks 
on Friday. So you'll be getting the first one this Friday. And it'll have all of our links and important information, class happenings. So please be on the lookout for that. What we want to make sure is that everyone, uh, please have their contact information updated onto Genesis. And that if you're not receiving our newsletter come this, to, uh, come this Friday, check your spam folder because it very well might be there coming from lindenps.org. Um, I'm going to share with you real quickly so you'll see our emails, Mr. Ventura, Mrs. Burson, Mrs. Luminello, and Mr. Devino. Um, and you will also see our WebEx, which is the perfect opportunity for you to schedule an appointment and we can discuss progress. So stop sharing that. Okay. Um, I also want to mention that our team time is between 8.40 and 9.25 a.m. So that's the time that we meet as a group and discuss what we're doing, collaborate together, and it's the perfect opportunity if you ever need to schedule a conference with us as a team once again, that's between 8.40 and 9.20 a.m. And you can do that through guidance. All right. I just want to uh, mention two universal um, guidelines that all of the teachers are adhering to. And one thing that we certainly expect is that the children arrive to class on time. Um, the beauty of our schedule is that all of the main core classes are in close proximity to each other. And it should be a relatively easy transition from one class to the next. Um, I also want to make sure that each child charges their iPads at night. This is extremely important. They should charge it through the night as they would their phone because they're going to be using them in just about every class throughout the course of the day. So they need to have their iPads charged. Okay. Um, quickly, just to give a quick overview of the four major core content areas, starting with uh, language arts. Um, the focus of the language arts curriculum will be on grammar, spelling, and the ex expanded development of reading and writing skills. Um, there's a textbook. It's Intro to Literature, Grade 6. It's an online edition, uh, and it's really imperative that students have a working, well-maintained, and fully charged iPad. Um, supplemental online and hard copy resources will be available at the, throughout the year. And there'll be three to four novels read throughout the year as well. Students must keep an academic planner, and it's a physical planner in language arts. It serves to keep them organized, more successful, and helps parents stay in the know. And finally, um, Mrs. Luminello uh, strictly adheres to due dates and times for completion of assignments that she extends to students. Um, she does not give extra credit, but she gives ample time for students to complete all assignments. As far as science goes, Mr. Devino's um, first unit will be delving into weather and water. He uses a real cool, cool program uh, called OneNote, which allows students to take notes um, online and digitally, and he'll be taking them through that process. Um, and he, like many of us, as you're going to see, posts a lot of his assignments on Canvas. I'm Mr. Ventura, and I teach the World Geography and Civics class. Half the year will be World Geography. The first half, the second half, we will slide into Civics. In World Geography, we're going to be looking at different, uh, various aspects of culture and life in different parts of the world. And as far as civics go, that's where we're going to focus on the principles of democracy. We're going to focus on active citizenship and um, the principles of government. And it's a real fun project we do is where we create our own student class government, which will have a president, a vice president, a treasurer, and every member of the class will be a member of the class government. Finally, uh, in math, uh, Mrs. Burson being on maternity leave until October, Mrs. Serinwa uh, will be in her place and she's being assisted by Mrs. Martins Cooper, who is the brand new math coach to the district. So she'll be in there on a regular basis as well. The program that they use is titled uh, Go Math for the Accelerated Programs. It's titled Envision. And they will start the year with a focus on prime factorization of numbers, Dividing, subtracting, and the multiplication of decimals, and then finally dividing multi-digit numbers. Okay? 
I just want to start as we finished, um, finished as we started, I should say, um, and emphasize that we're here to help. Um, communication is a two-way road, and we are going to emphasize as a team um, regular, consistent communication with parents at home. So thank you for your time. Look forward to our first newsletter, which will come out this Friday. And if we can answer any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Take care, everybody. I'm Mrs. Brewer, and I am the social studies teacher on Team 6383. Last week, your child was sent home with an orange folder that has information for them as well as information for you. So please take a look through this. It gives you information about the topics we cover, our curriculum, grading policies, and required materials. For class, students should come prepared with their iPads every single day because we are going to be using these a lot. My email address is ebrewer at lindenps.org. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks. Hello, my name is Ms. Fernandez. I teach sixth and eighth grade math here at McManus Middle School. Last week, I sent home a welcome letter with school supplies that are needed for my class. And I also sent home a syllabus with rules and expectations for this school year. But to sum it up, my expectations are respect, communication, and collaboration. And I know that with those three, we can instill skills in our students to make them lifelong learners and to have a great year. Hello, my name is Mrs. Abdel Patan. I'm the sixth and eighth grade science teacher here at McManus Middle School. I sent home a syllabus with the students that covers the policies and procedures for my classroom, as well as the grading, um, how they will be graded, and what I expect from my students. It is found on my Canvas page, and if there's ever a time where they need to refer back to it just to go over something or to see, they can find it on there. Hello everyone, welcome to one of your seventh grade teams. We are team 7-1. Here is a poster with information on our pride expectations for our students. I'm Mrs. LaFace, the science teacher. We are currently starting our unit on planetary science. We'll have a physics unit in the middle of the year, electromagnetic force, and we'll wrap up our school year with a life science study. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mastriano. I teach mathematics. This year, your students are going to be working in Pearson. Uh, this is a new program from what they've done before. Uh, we'll start off with integers and we'll progress through uh, fractions and decimals, uh, gearing them to take pre uh, another year of pre-algebra this year, next year, or algebra. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Vitalian. I teach US history for seventh grade. This year we are going to cover the Revolutionary Era all the way until Reconstruction and along the way talk about current events and do special projects. Hi, I'm Ms. Espinal Perez. I teach language arts. Um, so throughout the year we're going to be working on different themes. This first marking period our theme is taking action and it's how people rise up to difficult situations. We use novels throughout the year, short stories from our textbook. And this marking period, our writing piece will be informational. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Looking forward to a good year. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Back to School Night. This is Team 7 2. Hi, everyone. I'm Ms. Patterson. Ms. Benner. Mr. Monaco. And Mrs. Godos. We are so happy that you are watching this video to learn about our expectations um, as well as our classes for the 2021-2022 school year. So in seventh grade, one of our biggest expectations is to improve our students' acceptance of responsibility. We are preparing them for the next level, which is eighth grade, and we want, them, we want our students to be completely responsible by the time that seventh grade is over. So some of our expectations include being prepared um, so that way class could start on time and being on time for class, having iPads charged and ready to use, following directions the first time that they are given, using kind words, 
and being respectful of yourself and others. All right, everyone. I'm Miss Patterson, your seventh grade science teacher. Um, this year, we will be very busy covering various topics from earth, life, to physical sciences. But most importantly, we will be learning and growing together as a class. Remember to always try your best and ask for help when you need. The topics we will cover this year is planetary science, electromagnetic force, gravity and kinetic energy, and we will finish the year with populations and ecosystems. Social studies, seventh grade social studies will cover early colonial America through reconstruction. My class will provide the students with the skills to be more organized and form productive study habits that they will carry with them after middle school. Students will be exposed to different resources and how to assess current events, how to read and locate information on a map, and to develop better reading comprehension using informational text. Make sure all your assignments are handed in on time and complete. In seventh grade math, we cover several topics throughout the school year in depth. Those include the number system. With the number system, we explore adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing positive and negative integers and rational numbers. The next unit is ratios and proportional relationships. So we do a review of ratios and we start exploring proportional relationships, which includes looking at a graph, a table, as well as equations. This helps us transition into our next unit, which is expressions and equations. So students learn how to solve two-step equations such as 2x plus 5 equals 15. After this unit, we move on to geometry where we explore volume as well as work with circles, including finding the circumference in the area of circles. And then our last unit is statistics and probability. So we start exploring basic probability concepts, including what is the probability of landing on heads when you flip a coin, or what's the probability of landing on two when you roll a die. In English language arts seventh grade, we will be learning uh, multiple things, and I'll be helping you further develop um, your writing skills and reading comprehension. We'll be going over literary analysis, um, we'll be comparing and contrasting and reflecting through our writing. Uh, we will learn how to write informational, explanatory, and argumentative essays using um, textual ev evidence. And we're also going to be working on narrative and creative writing. And my favorite, we're going to be going over prose and poetry. All right, so if you need to contact us, you may email us. Our email addresses are here. Um, we look forward to a great school year, and thank you for watching. Welcome to Back to School Night for Team 8-1. Our team consists of our language arts teacher, who is Ms. Spaeth, our science teacher, Mrs. Macarelli, our history teacher, Mr. Lukashevsky, and our math teacher, Mrs. Misko. Our in-class support teachers, Core 1, Ms. Spaeth has Ms. Correa with her, and Mr. Lukashevsky has Mrs. Prada with him. For Core 2, Mr. Lukashevsky has Ms. Correa with him. For Core 3, Mrs. Macarelli has Mrs. Marsh, and Mrs. Misko has Ms. Paulino. And for Core 4, Mrs. Macarelli has Mrs. Marsh. Attendance. It's important that students come to class on time. As a reminder, school starts at 745, and if there are six unexcused absences per marking period, it can lead to an administrative failure. Extra help is on an as-needed basis. Students can talk to the teacher in person, or they can message them on Canvas. For technology, it's really important that the students bring their iPad to school charged every day. We use it in almost every class every day, and make sure that students keep their iPads covered and protected to keep them from getting broken. Responsibilities and behaviors. Respectful behavior is paramount. We do not tolerate any disruptive behavior nor derogatory comments to each other about anyone else, even if they're outside of the classroom. Deadlines are expected to be followed. Students should put their best foot forward daily and communicate with the teachers if there's anything that they need. Seek help when needed so they can, again, message us on Canvas or ask us in person. And one more reminder to make sure that the iPads are charged on a daily basis. In math class, uh, we have a daily schedule that we will follow. We always start with a bell ringer or some sort of review work. 
We'll then do a lesson or a review lesson. We will practice it using an activity, independent practice, and we will end with an exit ticket or an exit slip. We do have an online textbook. However, it's not working right now. So once that is working, that information will be sent out to you. Topics ahead. Um, in Math 8, we will cover integers and rational numbers, solving equations, proportional relationships, and functions. For Algebra 1, we will cover equations, linear functions, systems of equations, polynomials, and quadratic functions. And our math department grading policy, quizzes are 40%, homework and classwork is 35%, and tests are 25%. Good evening, Good evening everyone. My name is Mr. Lukaszewski. I'm your child's world history teacher for eighth grade. As for eighth grade this year, the course outline is as follows. For the first marking period, we'll be looking at the beginnings of human society by focusing in on the Paleolithic and Neolithic ages. For marking period two, we will focus on unit two, which is early civilizations and the emergence of pastoral peoples. For marking period three, we'll be focusing in on unit three, the classical civilizations of the Mediterranean world, India and China. And for marking period four, unit four will cover expanding changes and encounters. As for the history department, uh, your child will be assessed in the following ways and the grading policy is as follows. Classwork and assignments will be 40% of their grade. Tests and assessments, 35% of their grade. DBQs and major product projects, 25% of their grade. The primary resources used in eighth grade this year for world history, Canvas, Discovery Education, which is our tech book, Junior Scholastic, which deals with current events, Nearpod, and the DBQ project. Hello, this is Mrs. Maccarelli, science eighth grade teacher. Uh, we will be working on the following topics this year in science, earth history, heredity and adaptations, chemical interactions, human systems interactions. Our grading policy for science assessments, which are tests and projects are 40%. Our labs and how the class does performance assessments, Classwork, participation, and preparation is 30%. Homework is 10%. And their journals, which will be done um, on their iPads, uh, will be 20%. And additional grading, sometimes we use check systems. Check plus plus is 100. Check plus is 85. Check is 75. Check minus is 65. And check minus minus 50. And if it's not handed in, it would be a zero. Hi, it's Miss Faith. I'm your child's language arts teacher. Um, we will cover a variety of reading and writing topics this year. For unit one, it will be informational writing, unit two, argumentative writing, unit three, literary analysis, and unit four, narrative and creative writing that includes poetry. Um, we will be reading and writing throughout the year, so I tend to blend both um, every marking period. For materials, I expect that your child comes with a fully charged iPad. Um, we will use a digital language arts folder. We will show students how to use this in class. And I also ask that students use a, di a digital notebook as well on OneNote. For the grading policy, 40% uh, of the student's grade will be based on classwork, the work that they do every day. 30% is based on their tests, projects, and essays. We will have one major essay every marking period. Quizzes count for 20% of the grade, and homework is 10%. There will not be homework on a, on a daily basis. Um, I do assess students mostly on the work that they carry out on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to any of us. You can call the school. And you can also check Canvas for our class syllabi and any work that the students may have. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Hi, this is Teammate 2 and we are so excited to have your 8th grader in class. You should have received a welcome email introducing ourselves as well as their contact information. We will be in touch throughout the year with all relevant news and information. Each teacher is now going to provide a brief... Hello. 
My name is Ms. Victoria Sirleaf and I am your child's eighth grade math teacher for this 2021-22 school year. This year, your child will learn math skills and content that will prepare them for ninth grade algebra one. It will be challenging, but rewarding. I look forward to working with you this year. Hi, I'm Brenda Kneister and I'm your child's eighth grade science teacher here at McManus Middle School. This year, we will be covering four topics, Earth History, Heredity, Chemical Interactions, and Human Body Systems. These areas should help your student get ready for high school. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ms. Fraunberger, and I'm your student's eighth grade world history teacher this year. In world history, we cover ancient civilizations um, from the beginning of humans through ancient Rome, um, using a lens of geography, culture, and government. We also work on writing and presentation skills and cover current events. A syllabus was sent home earlier this year with relevant grading and classroom information and is also located on Canvas um, for reference throughout the year. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you. My name is Ms. Colella. I will be your child's language arts teacher. This year we're going to focus on reading comprehension, writing, and grammar. And I want to make sure by the time your child leaves to go up to the high school that they'll have all the tools that they need to succeed in language arts. Please check your email to confirm receipt of all of our communication. If you haven't received anything from us, please log into Genesis or call the school to get in contact with us. Thank you, and we look forward to working with you. Welcome everyone, this is ESL at McManus. I wanna start off with a quote by Nelson Mandela. Without language, one cannot talk to people and understand them. One cannot share their hopes and aspirations, grasp their history, appreciate their poetry, or savor their songs. And that's a message I try to give all my students. It's not just about learning language, it's about learning about each other, our cultures, our goals, our dreams, and our stories. This is me. My name is Fatin Sumrain, and I will be your child's ESL teacher this year. Our focus for the year is speaking, listening, reading, and writing. These are the four uh, domains of ESL, and we practice these every day, uh, formally and informally. Some expectations for the classroom. First thing is punctuality. Being on time shows responsibility and it means you're ready to work. Um, keeping the environment neat and organized is super important. It keeps your, your thoughts and your mind organized as well. Respecting your teacher, your classmates, and yourself most importantly. Making sure you're always on task and completing your work. Participating. Use your voice, your writing, or any way you feel comfortable to communicate. Sharing your ideas is super important and it allows us to, to know what you're thinking, where your thought process is, and what things you have to work on or what your strengths are. And most importantly, ask questions and try your best. Here are some activities that our students have worked on in school. This is our classroom in the top left corner. Um, these are some students from last year. Uh, some students here are working on their homework in class, so they work together to help each other. This also builds social skills and speaking skills. We incorporate the use of technology in classrooms to engage students in ways that they feel comfortable learning language. This is a photo from the International Breakfast that uh, ESL students take part in to showcase their cultures, languages, and dances and songs. This is a project we worked on where students uh, took the time to research their city, the city of Linden, in ways in which they could help improve it with programs for students. And the mayor came into our class and actually heard a lot of their ideas and proposals. The ESL program is made up of five different levels. The first level is beginner. Then there's intermediate classes, which are a mixture of levels two and three. And then there's the advanced classes, which are mixtures of level four and five. In the beginner level, uh, level one, we focus mostly on vocabulary that students can use to uh, navigate their new lifestyle in America or elsewhere, where they use words like, uh, may I go to the bathroom, um, I have a question, simple phrases, and this is learned through uh, examples, sample phrases, and um, images. 
Then we have the intermediate level, levels two and three. This class focuses on building sentence and paragraphs. Students use more complex writing styles and engage in longer texts. For all the classes, we use the National Geographic Inside Edition, and that really has a lot of great examples for students to use um, in and outside of school. And then finally, level four and five, which is the advanced ESL class. This is where we try to prepare students for the shift from ESL to ELA classes. And the students work with complex texts, such as novels and short stories. They analyze these texts and they use their analysis to write um, essays using varied and complex sentence types. Some available resources for the students. Um, we offer after school tutoring for ESL students uh, on Wednesdays from 2.45 to 3.45. Um, we try to provide lesson plans as well as work on homework that students need help with for their other classes. Another important resource is an ESL online game called funbrain.com. This is a fun way for students to practice their English language outside of school while having fun. And finally, learnersdictionary.com is an incredibly useful resource for students to use. Uh, it simplifies definitions, provides examples, and allows students to truly understand the meaning of words. Ways to reach me and keep up with our class. Uh, my email is fsumrain at lindenps.org. We also have a class Instagram and Twitter page where I post some of the work that we do as students uh, in the classroom and engage within the community. Uh, I'm excited to be your child's teacher this year. They are incredible students and I'm excited to see how far they can go. Thank you. Ciao. I'm Mr. Iroh, the parent teacher at McManus Middle School. Hey, ni hao. I'm Chinese teacher at McManus Middle School. Bonjour. I'm Miss Elizabeth Naima, the French teacher. Hola, my name is Miss Peñaranda, and I'm the Spanish teacher. All right, so let us tell you something about our program and what we expect the students um, to achieve uh, during the school year. Students begin their introduction to world languages by using the four modes of communication, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Uh, resources will be diverse using culturally authentic materials, magazines, commercials, songs, videos, and real fruits, etc. <laughs> In the last few years, we have adopted a new method of teaching called comprehensible input which focuses on short story, repetition, and most common words in the target language. So, very good. Uh, uh, our policy is gonna be 50% classroom participation and 50% assessment, such as quizzes, homework, and projects. So Thank you very much. Okay, ciao. 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 Hi, I'm Courtney Serpone. I'm the vocal music teacher here at McManus. I also run the drama club, the select choir, and welcome to my classroom. We're gonna have a great year. Hello everybody, Bart Healy here. I'm the band director and a general music teacher at McManus. Can't wait to see your students. Have a great year creating some cool stuff and learning some great things about music. I'm John Burkhead. I teach orchestra here at McManus. I am so excited to have the kids back. Most important thing I can tell you is always have your instrument uh, so that your kids can go ahead and come ready to play. If you ever need to get a hold of either one of us, email us, reach out, and we'll get back to you immediately. It's going to be an amazing and fun year here at McManus creating wonderful music. Hi, I'm Lauren Dunn. Welcome to Art. I'm so excited to have all of our students here in person this year. I can't wait to have them create and get to know all of them. I am Megan Roberts. I am the theater arts teacher at McManus and Seoul Middle School, so you will have me every other day on B days. Uh, this is my classroom, and I also teach in the auditorium, um, and I can't wait for this year. Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Higgins, your technology teacher for the 21-22 school year, I cover citizenship and media. In media, we will be green screening, making apps, working on all kinds of fun things with Photoshop and editing. In citizenship, 
we will be covering how to be a digital citizen in the world today and how much time we spend on the computer. In my class, I expect you to be on time, finish your work, and be the best student you can be and be a leader. Follow the rules of YET, which are explained in my digital sheet on my Canvas page. Anything you need to, need to know is right on my Canvas page. If you need anything, reach out to me, send me an email, and I will get back to you that day. Have a great night. Good evening, parents. Welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Mr. McGlory. This is Ms. Miluski. And on the end is Ms. Freeman. We also have Mr. Fernandez, who is not here currently, but he will be back on Monday. We are your physical education and health staff for McManus Middle School. Just to give you a little information about how Phys Ed is going to be run this year, uh, because of COVID, we're not able to utilize the locker rooms right now, so students will not be changing. They will not be required to change for Phys Ed, but they will be required to wear sneakers for class every single day. Phys Ed is five days a week, so they will be coming to the gym every single day, so please stress the importance of wearing proper foot attire. Thank you. Also with health, I teach both phys ed and health, but health is only one marking period. So you will be having physical education for three marking periods and health for one marking period. Welcome to phys ed well, and health. See you all soon. Good night. Hi, my name is Mr. Cortez and I'm gonna be teaching the course Shaping Your Future. So in this course, we're gonna be talking about careers, uh, personal finance, things like savings accounts, investing, growing money. We're also going to be talking a lot about professionalism, how you write a professional email, how should you dress for an interview, how to write a resume. And we're going to talk a little bit about current events that have something to do with business or money. Um, grading for this class is very easy. It's 40% uh, participation, 30% uh, projects, 20% quizzes, and 10% homework. I'm going to be sending an email home at some point with a remind link so all of you can join my remind and I could kind of maintain contact and you can maintain contact with me. The biggest thing I ask of you guys in this course is we're going to be, I'm going to be sending a lot of things to the kids, ask questions about money, budgeting, credit, and they're gonna be asking you guys a lot of questions. So try to be, be open and hopefully we all get to know each other and we have a great year. It's great to meet you. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, McManus Middle School. We are home again. Welcome parents, welcome all the students. Looking forward to an outstanding year. Getting everything going, we are home again. I am Mr. DeCastro, Gateway to Technology, part of the technology department right here in Linden. Also, I am the chess club coach and also the robotic team coach, as well as the robotic club facilitator. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to get in contact with me, you can email me at mdecastro, M-D-E-C-A-S-T-R-O, at lindenps.org. Let's get back to it. I'm Miss Pascarelli. I am the basic skills teacher here at McManus and I will be working just with the sixth graders this year and providing intervention with skills that they need more practice with. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Urbanchik and I'm the instructional literacy coach, otherwise known as the reading coach. I work at both McManus and Seoul and I wanted to share some of the resources that our language arts teachers are using. The textbook that our 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students use at the middle school level is called HMH Into Literature. We have class sets in each language arts room, as well as digital access to all of the texts, questions, and activities. The short stories and nonfiction texts are organized by themes and essential questions. Teachers use this textbook in addition to an amazing selection of novels that we have available at both middle schools. Teachers will also be using resources such as Scope Magazine, Newzella, Common Lit, and ReadWorks, just to name a few. These resources provide a variety of articles that focus on current events and fictional stories. Many of the websites are instructional content tools that allow teachers to find articles on appropriate reading levels for their students. This year, 
our focus is rebuilding our reading skills and strengthening our writing with various strategies. I am so fortunate that I get to visit all the classrooms and I'm looking forward to working with students across all grade levels. Wishing all of our middle school students a wonderful and successful year. Take care. Welcome back to school. This is your sixth and eighth grade team. My name is Mrs. Marsh and I am the sixth and eighth grade science teacher for your children this year. My name is Mrs. Prada and I am the eighth grade math teacher. And I am Ms. Correa, the eighth grade language arts teacher. And on this slide, you will find all of our contact information that you can use to get in touch with us throughout the year. This slide will give you the breakdown of the McManus grading policy for all content and subject areas. In science, these are the units that we cover throughout the year. We start with weather and water. In eighth grade science, these are the units we cover throughout the year, and we start with earth history. Below you will see the science grading. And here you'll see what we do in class. These are the eighth grade language arts topics for the year. This is the district language arts grading policy for eighth grade. This is the various skills, or excuse me, these are the various skills that we will cover in language arts this year in eighth grade. And this is the breakdown for eighth grade math and how we grade. This is my contact information. And these are the topics we cover. These are our general classroom expectations for each of our classes. For more specific to our individual class, uh, expectations you can refer to our syllabi which were emailed out to all parents and guardians and can also be found on each of our canvas pages and in the event that we are moving back to virtual learning these will be the virtual expectations uh, for all classes we thank you for your time we hope to have a wonderful year with you and your children thank you very much families. I'm Nicole Gelfand. I teach 6th and 7th grade science. Hi, I'm Megan Murphy. I teach 6th and 7th grade language arts. I am Sue Paulino and I teach 7th grade math. I'm Christine Eltringham and I teach 6th and 7th grade world history and 7th grade language arts. I'm Alicia Rebecca. I teach 6th grade language arts, math, science, and social studies. Hi, I'm Debbie Parrott. I teach 6th and 7th grade science, and 6th grade math. Hi, I'm Christian Lasowski. I teach 6th grade language arts, 6th grade math, 7th grade U.S. history, and 8th grade world history. Hi, I'm Melissa Michelli, and I'm working with 6th and 7th graders on language arts and social studies. We are here as educators to provide the best positive support for your students in the classrooms, in the hallways, as a community, uh, we want to work together with you and we want to provide you with as much information on your child's Canvas page, uh, which will provide our classroom rules, expectations, and procedures can be found on each Canvas page as well as our contact information. If there's anything you need at any time, please, please contact us. We want you to know that we're here for you always. Have a fantastic year. Welcome. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gadarian. I teach seventh and eighth grade language arts and history. This is. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ann Bell, and I teach seventh and eighth grade science and math. Together, we're an LLD team, and we are going to work with the same students with different contents. 
but we will come together and do a lot of team building and a lot of group projects. Um, this year, Language Arts is gonna take on a whole new program which is called Sunday. The goal of the Sunday program is to increase their reading level and their reading comprehension. So that is priority number one in Language Arts. And we just wanted to wish everybody a happy 2021, 2022 school year. And we look forward to teaching your children. Thank you so much. Garcia, this is Mrs. Olson, and we are special education teachers in the multiple disabilities classes 236 and 234. We teach all four core subjects, language arts, math, science, and social studies, and we support our students throughout the school day. We focus greatly on functional life skills, social skills, and functional academic skills, and our classes work closely together. We look forward to meeting you. Bye, looking forward to a great year.